I'm Bill Elsey with Showplace Lawns. How to feed a warm season grass. Well, most of the time that will include or does include St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, uh, and the various strains of Bermuda grass. Also some zoysia, and in our part of the world, buffalo grass, and some other native type uh, turf varieties. Feeding it, we fertilize three times a year. We would fertilize it in the spring, in April, after that lawn has been mowed twice. Want to get two mowings in before you fertilize it in the spring. Then the next fertilizer would be an option. That would be roughly in June. If it needs it, you know, you kind of look at it and read the grass and see if it needs a fertilization, then go ahead and fertilize it. Then fertilize it again in early to mid-October. That would be your winterizer. Those are the three fertilizer times. In addition to putting out fertilizer, top dress that lawn. The best time to top dress it would be between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. So you don't worry about suffocating the grass. You don't worry about the heat from the nitrogen in the compost. And you can work it into the grass in time to aerate it in the early spring. The compost itself does not do much feeding, but it works together with the fertilizers to break them down and help them to do their job more consistently. We also do some sprays of a soil activator with seaweed and molasses, horticultural molasses. That gives you a little bit of nitrogen from time to time as well throughout the growing year. But from a feeding standpoint, the three fertilizers and the compost will serve you well.